for sure that I'm found on your too. Alright. Check that out, folks. Welcome back, everybody, to the Microburst 600 side-by-side -side build. This episode, I'm going to be tackling uh, lengthening the axles uh, for this guy. So these are the stock players razor 800 and I need to extend each of these uh, about four inches So I picked up this stuff here. This is 4340 uh, one inch solid diameter and I'll be cutting that and cutting my own splines Now before I, I do that I need to get the correct lengths So I need to finish making the bushings for the, the suspension so you can see now it's just kind of sitting in there and I have these guys, which will get pressed into, uh, into that part of the suspension. But I need to make the inner parts. So I have this big stack. This is uh, bearings bronze. And it will actually get pressed uh, inside of here. So I need to uh, turn these out on the lathe. And press that in so I can get the, the correct measurements. Right? So I can you know, get the right axle length to fit these guys. Alright, so I'll start turning, I'll get that finished up, and then we'll start working on these axles. Okay, I finally finished up with all these uh, bearings, bronze uh, bushings. So that's what they that's what they turned out uh, looking like. Uh, most of them are within a few thou of each other. I might have to do a little bit more work to uh, some of them are kind of snug still. So this is what it'll look like when it's assembled. Uh, you can see here the uh, the plastic Delrin uh, get pressed over the inner bearings, bronze bushing, and then the the bolt will go through the middle and then the uh, the Delrin ones will get pressed into the suspension tubes themselves. And what will happen is when you clamp this thing down it's going to clamp on uh, the inner bearings bronze bushing. Right? It'll clamp down on there so uh, the, the, the Delrin bushings will end up pivoting on the uh, the bearings bronze bushings. And that way there nothing is, is pivoting on the bolt and nothing is going to be uh, moving uh, against the frame as well. So should be very durable. Uh, it seems pretty snug. should last a long time. I went ahead and I, I pressed a bunch of these guys in there. So you can see they're, they're fitted in. Clamped them down. And uh, I also went ahead and cut that axle. And I just put that little spacer in there so I can get the correct spacing for this thing. So just uh, show you how this is working. Get the axle in the middle. Everything's turning so far. So now that I have the, the length for the back, I'm going to do the exact same thing for the front. I'll uh, set this all up, get the lengths that I need, and uh, then I'll have my axle lengths. I can start cutting them. All right, front's all mocked up, and I put the... Uh, the extension in the axle so I have the correct length now. So I'm going to pull these guys out, uh, cut the blanks of the uh, 4340 steel and then I'll uh, head over to the mill, get the dividing head set up and uh, we'll start cutting splines. Okay, I'm going to measure this. I need to get it to uh, 0 0.820. Uh, that's saying 56. I'm going to put my uh, a good calmer on there. Let's see what this guy's saying. Came at 850. Says 858. Now this thing's hot, so it might shrink a little bit. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna give it a minute, let it cool down. 
Yeah, so it's shrunk back down, it's shrunk down about a thou. So it's 857 now. It's a bit warmer to touch. Alright, uh, so I need to get this 8 down to 820, so uh, I need to take off, uh, what is that, uh, 30, 36, 37. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Still 821, I'll let it cool down. All right, everybody. Finished doing all the lathe work for these axle shafts and uh, turned out pretty nice. So there it is there. It's all machined down. Same with the other side. That's the spot for the boot to kind of sit in when you clamp it and got the snap ring and yeah, so that's that. Now what I need to do is put the, the splines on this axle shaft. So. I'm referring to this uh, machining book that I have here, Technology of Machine Tools. And uh, the indexing head that I have is uh, it's called a universal indexing, like this guy right here. Uh, now, to find out how many turns you need, so I'm doing simple indexing. And the formula is uh, you take 40 divided by the number of divisions, and that will give you how many turns you need to do. Uh, so I need to cut 20. Uh, so that works out real nice. That uh, equals two, two full turns of the, uh, of the handle. So what I do is I, I just start on any hole that I want. So I'm going to put it right up there. And two full turns. One, two. Put the pin back in. Lock it down. And then I go and make my cut. So that's it. This is a real simple one. Don't have to worry about uh, using the sector arms and any of the other holes. Now, I need to make sure there's no run out on this. So I have my have this shaft already mounted in. And I've already gone and uh, checked this. And I've been kind of fooling around with it and setting it in there. And I have a uh, 2 thou run out. Uh, so that's uh, oh, two and a half. So that's good enough for this thing. Now for the cutter, I have a, uh, a lathe bit in here, and I just ground it down to the correct profile. See that there? And uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm just going to feed that in. You know, I get this thing centered with the axle, and I'll just feed this in, and uh, yeah, just start making cuts. So I'm going to fire this thing up, and uh, we'll get going.
Okay, folks, <clears throat> big moment of truth here. This is the uh, last axle, last spline, and uh, I'm just going to do the test fit on here. Just going to uh, sand down some of the rough edges. bit too snug. That's better. All right. Let's see if I can fit the other one on. Oh, it's a snug fit, but I'm pretty sure that'll pound on there too. All right. Check that out, folks. Finally got through all these splines. That was a lot of work. Four axles, eight ends. Fronts were uh, 20 splines each, and the, these rears were uh, 19 splines each. That's a lot of splines to go through. Oh. But, there you go. Oh yeah, check this out guys. There we go. The axles are all done. So these are the, uh, that's the original front. And then uh, this is the, yeah, so yeah, that's the front. And these are the, uh, the new ones for the front. So you can see how much longer uh, those guys are. And then here's the rear. And then the, uh, the extended ones. A lot of work there. All right, well, that's it for this episode, folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Put a lot of work into these uh, these axles. I'm going to send them out for hardening. I'm just doing a little bit of research to figure out what the uh, what's the best, you know, hardness value and all that kind of stuff. So I will get them professionally hardened. Uh, don't want these things, uh, you know, wearing splines out. So if you like this, uh, give me a big thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my videos. Uh, leave a comment. If your comment is, hey, dude, where's that challenger? Uh, don't leave that. <laughs> I'll show you exactly where the challenger is. See that kind of hole in the wall there? Well, that's where the, uh, the, the challenger is sitting outside right behind this. And uh, it's sitting on a concrete slab. Uh, I'm building an addition so I can, you know, have enough space to uh, keep all this other stuff in here. And then uh, bring the challenger in or basically keep the challenger in so i can work on it but uh, if you want to leave a comment about the microburst 600 please do that i look forward to it all right thanks a lot folks uh thanks for watching <laughs>